it's not okay to only serve the employees who are struggling the most. And I see that really commonly where they'll say, well, we put up an EAP and 5% of our employees use it. And the first thing I think is like, well, wouldn't it be great if you were getting support to people who weren't at the point of needing the EAP or who weren't comfortable using the EAP or who were nervous about their privacy or maybe didn't know what their schedule would be like. So they weren't, they weren't able to book a recurring appointment. Like there are so many people who, who can't use an existing resource. And I think I see a lot of um, HR folks waking up to the fact that like, Oh, we can't just serve the people who are volunteering like, Hey, I'm going to go through all this trouble to book appointments and, and seek treatment because for every one of them, there's probably nine other people who could benefit from support who are not actively seeking that and have very legitimate reasons for not engaging with the existing support. So my encouragement is like, you know, number one, um, listen to that voice inside of you that says we should be supporting all of our employees, not just the people who um, are struggling so much and are so comfortable with the setup of our EAP that they're engaging with it. Like, don't, listen to that voice don't forget about those other people but the other side of it is like recognize your and this is going to sound like a i don't mean this to sound like speaking down to you as an hr professional i'm trying to remove pressure from you by saying that it is not your personal responsibility to save all of your employees from what they're experiencing and I see a lot of HR people take that on and say, now I need to solve for this person. I need to be that. My encouragement is there are resources like Cope Notes that are designed to remove that pressure from you so that you can function in your job effectively without being dragged down by this feeling of personal responsibility for individual employees.